India has a rich culture, with many temples, hills and sanctuaries. It is well known for its majestic tourist places, hills, rivers, plateaus, plains, beaches, deltas and deserts, many luxurious hotels and resorts, picturesque nature sites and whether it is Ajanta Ellora Caves or Taj Mahal the Love Monument which comes under seven wonders of world. From culture to traditions to history to nature to adventure to man-made beauties, it has the most amazing array of travel products and destinations to offer to the tourists throughout the world. You can visit India to find yourself in the mountains of Himalayas and to be mesmerized by the ancient temples. Welcome to our channel Around the World with Dua Mumtaz. Today we are going to share a history of Veerabhadra Temple. The temple is located in the Lepakshi, in the state of Andhra Pradesh, India. If you like our informative video, please click the like button and share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon so you will receive timely notification whenever we uploaded new videos. Let's get started. The Virabhadra Temple is dedicated to the Virabhadra, a fierce incarnation of Lord Shiva. Built in the 16th century, the architectural features of the temple are in the Vijayanagara style with profusion of carvings and paintings at almost every exposed surface of the temple. It is one of the centrally protected monuments of national importance and is considered one of the most spectacular Vijayanagara temples. The fresco paintings are particularly detailed in very bright dresses and colors with scenes of Rama and Krishna from the epic stories of the Ramayana, the Mahabharat and the Puranas and they are well preserved. There is a very large Nandi bull mount of Shiva, about 200 meters away from the temple which is carved from a single block of stone, which is said to be one of the largest of its type in the world. The temple is home to many Kannada inscriptions as it's located close to Karnataka border. The temple has been built on the southern side of Lepakshi town, on a low altitude hillock of a large exposure of granite rock, which is in the shape of a tortoise, and hence known as Kurmasila. It is 140 kilometers away from Bangalore. The approach from the National Highway NH7 to Hyderabad that takes a branch road at the Karnataka Andhra Pradesh border leading to Lepakshi, 12 kilometers away. Another route to reach the temple is taking a route from Hindupur. It is situated 35 kilometers from Penukonda, located in Anantapur district of Andhra Pradesh. The temple was built in 1530 AD. 1540 AD is also mentioned by Virupana Naika and Viranna, both brothers who were governors under the Vijayanagar Empire during the reign of King Achutaraya at Penukonda who were native to Karnataka. The temple consists only Kannada inscriptions. The cost of building the temple was defrayed by the government. According to Skanda Purana, the temple is one of the Devikshetras, an important pilgrimage site of Lord Shiva. The temple is of the Vijayanagara architectural style. The main temple is laid out in three parts, these are, the assembly hall known as the Mukha Mantapa or Natya Mantapa or Ranga Mantapa, Ada Mantapa or Antarala Antechamber and the Garbhagrai or the Sanctum Sanctorum. The temple, as an edifice, is encircled by two enclosures. The outermost walled enclosure has three gates, the northern gate is used regularly. The inner east gate is the entry to the assembly hall, which is a large-sized open hall designed with a large space in its central part. It is at the entrance to the Sanctum Sanctorum and has a profusion of sculptures and paintings over every inch of space on the columns and ceiling. The images on the pillars and walls are of divine beings, saints, guardians, musicians, dancers and 14 avatars of Shiva. Figurines of the goddesses Ganga and Yamuna flank the entrance to the sanctum. The exterior columns of this hall are built over a decorated plinth. The decorations are in the form of blocks of carved images of horses and soldiers. The columns are slim and have features of colonnettes carved with ease, overhanging in a curved shape. The open space in the middle part of the hall is defined by large columns or piers which have carvings of triple figures. In the columns in the northeastern part of the hall, there are images of Natasha flanked by Brahma and a drummer. In an adjoining column there are figurines of nymphs in dancing postures, flanked by a drummer and symbolist. The column at the southwest part of the hall has an image of Parvati, Shiva's consort, flanked by female attendants. There are also carvings of divinities such as Bringi with three legs and Vikshitana carved in a dancing posture, this is in the northwestern part of the hall. The ceiling of the hall is fully covered with mural paintings depicting the scenes from the epics, the Mahabharat, the Ramayana, and the Puranas along with the life sketches of the benefactors of the temple. The paintings in each bay on the ceiling of the main mandapa, the Antarala and other shrines, depict the grandeur of Vijayanagara pictorial art. They are painted over an initial plaster layer of lime mortar. 
The color scheme consists of vegetable and mineral colors of yellow, ochre, black, blue and green blended with lime water. The background is generally painted in red color. Apart from figures of gods and goddesses, in the presence of the devotees arranged in rows, the frescoes also depict the incarnations of Vishnu. The paintings are in striking compositions where the particular emphasis is on the period costumes and facial expressions. The fresco in the ceiling of Ardha Mantapa Antechamber, which is said to be Asia's largest, measures 23 by 13 feet. It has frescoes of the 14 avatars of Lord Shiva as Yogadakshina Murti, Chandes Anugraha Murti, Bhikshatana, Harihara, Ardhanrishwara, Kalyana Sundara, Tripurantaka, Nataraj, Gauri Prasadaka, Lingodhava, Andhaka Surasmahara, and so forth. Presiding deity deified in the Sanctum Sanctorum is a near life size image of Virabhadra, fully armed and decorated with skulls. There is a cave chamber in the Sanctum where Sage Agastya is said to have lived when he installed the image of the Linga here. The ceiling in the sanctum above the deity has paintings of the builders of the temple, Virupana and Viranna, regally dressed and crowned with headgear similar to those adorning the Krishnadevarya's bronze statue in Tirupati. They are depicted, with their entourage, in a state of reverential prayer, being offered sacred ashes of their family deity. Within the temple complex, on the eastern wing, there is a separate chamber with Shiva and his consort Parvati carved on a boulder. In another shrine chamber there is an image of Lord Vishnu. Within the temple precincts, to its eastern side, there is huge boulder of granite stone which has carving of coiled multi-hooded serpent providing an umbrella cover over a linga. The apparently, hanging pillar, is yet another attraction in the temple. There is a gap between the base of the pillar and ground through which cloth and paper can be passed, as the pillar is slightly dislodged and touching the ground only on one side. A huge granite nandi bull, 20 feet in height and 30 feet in length, bedecked with garlands and bells, carved out of a single block stone, is located about 200 meters from the temple, which faces the statue of the serpent in the precincts of the temple. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, we will see on our next video and will explore Sri Venkateswara Swami Vari temple situated in the hill town of Tirumala at Tirupati in Tirupati district of Andhra Pradesh.